In Roger's um, ministry in Georgia Cumberland, um, he shared by his example. He led by his example. And he had a godly ministry, and he affected um, not only the Pathfinders, but also the staff. And we, Georgia Cumberland Pathfinders, we want to present Ken this morning with a plaque for this weekend of the pins of Georgia Cumberland. And the Pathfinders of Georgia Cumberland want to salute Ken. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So I had the privilege of being with Ken as a, uh, at Southern Missionary College. We were in college together. And uh, Ken came from the Northwest and came to the South. And you know, we eat grits in the South, right? right. We eat grits in the South, and you eat a big bowl of grits. Well, all the guys told him when he came there, when you go through the cafeteria line, only let them give you one grit. So when he went through the line, he said, I just want one grit. And the girl looked at him like, are you serious? He said, yeah, one grit. And so she gave him this tiny little piece of grits. Ken was a great guy. He could lead a song service like no other. He could take the whole college and get them to sing and feel really good about their singing. He was a great man. He had uh, a nickname. We called him Chug. And, uh, you know, when you are loved, when you are loved by people, they give you a nickname. And Ken was loved by all. He was a great minister, a great chaplain, and uh, we're going to miss him. Thank you, Ken, for all you've done for the Southern Union. Amen. I've known Kenny Rogers. That's what I call him, Kenny. Kenny Rogers for over 50 years. And he has modeled the AY law in his ministry. He's been my friend and your friend as well. And we can thank God that we've had a friend like Kenny Rogers to give leadership to this union as a youth pastor, as a chaplain at Southern Adventist University, as a vice president at Walla Walla University, he's been a friend to man. Amen. He's also modeled by going on God's errands. He's gone all around the world sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with others. So, Kenny Rogers, thank you for your ministry. Thank you for your model. I continue to be your friend. I will never forget you, Kenny Rogers, because I have a scar on my knee. <laughs> that will be there till the Lord comes. When I see that scar, I think of Kenny Rogers. You can ask me about that later. God bless you, Kenny. We hope to see you soon. Amen. Amen. I have to say, uh, Ken Rogers is, uh, from a human standpoint, he's my best friend. Um, we worked at summer camp together in George Cumlin when the name was Camp Something Different than it is today. <laughs> it can be something. <laughs> and uh, we played basketball into the night. I introduced him to Little Debbie's. <laughs> He's never been the same. Uh, what do you say? Each Pathfinder in this audience, adult or young person, I hope you have a friend like Ken in your life. Somebody you just can pick up a conversation with, even if you haven't talked for several weeks or several months. Somebody that really cares about you, and you care about them. That's who Ken Rogers is. It was late one Friday night. Ken Rogers figured out what was going on with the joke with this, um, what'd you call it? Grits. And so he had some new friends moving from the Northwest to the South where I grew up, there in Atlanta and Mississippi and Nashville and several places. We traveled too much as a family, all through the South. So we're at Friday night at Southern Avenue University is in a dorm room. When a bunch of guys are bored, they start talking about anything and they start talking and talking. And pretty soon Ken figured out this grit thing so his friend from the Northwest comes into the room, and Ken says, hey, what are you going to do this summer? Uh, are you going to work at summer camp? Are you going to go here? Are you going to go there? And the guy says, I don't know what I'm going to do. And Ken Rogers looks at him and says, here's what you want to do. You want to go pick grits. They pay $15 an hour, and that was a couple of years ago. Oh, <laughs> man, that kind of money. Yeah, go pick grits. So what you want to do is go all over campus tomorrow, tell people you're going to pick grits next summer. And then everybody will, you know, want to know where you're going to work. So you send them to me. So he went out there, this friend of Ken Rogers, he embarrassed this guy. This guy couldn't get a date for a whole year. We don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. But Ken Rogers has great humor. He runs deep spiritually. He could be your best friend. 
Amen. Ken Rogers. Amen. Thank you, Ken Rogers, for the blessing you've been to my life and so many others. Amen. When Ken Rogers first came to the Southern Union, he was wondering what was going to be the theme for the department. And I was so happy when he settled on growing lifelong disciples. Mm. Because Ken's vision was that all of the pathfinders, all of the adventurers, all of those in youth and young adult ministries, his heart desire was to see them be lifelong followers of Jesus Christ. As you think about what today is as a tribute to a person, I hope that you would continue to think about the vision that he shared when he first started of what it looks like to see every young person in the Southern Union choose to follow Jesus Christ for the rest of their life. And on behalf of Ken this morning, I would like to challenge you pathfinders and adults to make up your mind sooner rather than later Amen. to be a lifelong follower of Jesus Christ as part of the Southern Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Amen. I also want to pay special note to the roster that Pastor Ken built to make the Southern Union Campery happen. There were many shifts and changes that happened, but because of the depth chart of all the people that he had recruited and put together, it made managing the event possible in his absence. Wow. So Ken, thank you so much for your vision to lead Southern Union with growing lifelong, lifelong followers, lifelong disciples, and thank you for your vision to prepare this campery. In your absence, you're the only piece that's been missing, and we're so glad you'll get to be a part of us through this ceremony, through this tribute. Thank you for your lifelong commitment to following Jesus. We honor you today, and we stand in thanks to God for all that he's done through you. Amen. Amen. I had a chance to talk to Pastor Ken Rogers last night, and he really, really, really wanted to be here. His heart is with you today, yeah. but he's ill, and he couldn't make it. And we, we wanted to have this tribute to him. So I have a plaque to present. I would have read it. And then we, we have another surprise for you, Pastor Ken. But the plaque says the following. In thanks for 10 years of faithful servant leadership, your selfless giving of time, unwavering dedication, attention to detail, and outstanding work ethic has inspired this ministry and seen it flourish. You have positively impacted the lives of our pathfinders and youth now and for e eternity. You made a difference. Amen. Let's give him a hand, Pastor Amen. Ken Rogers. Amen. We love you, Pastor Ken! Give him a hand, give him a hand.